Hey guys, this is Levi the Boss Hashtag 1360. Today I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be doing a showcase video on like my purge stuff, or just merchandise and stuff. But some of these things you might probably recognize and stuff like the shirt and the document right there and the mask and stuff. But I was just gonna be showing some cool explanations and stuff. I guess what I have and stuff. So. Since I'm like a big perch fanatic and a lot of big lore expert kind of guy and stuff and all, um, I'm just going to be showing you some of the cool stuff I have, so we'll begin. So, I got the, the movie from on Blu-ray, stuff and all, the perch, the 2013 film. One night a year, all crime is legal. And here's the back. Cool stuff. Oh, and if you want to get in detail and stuff, so that way my camera likes to enhance and stuff. Perfect high definition, perfect HD sound. It has some cool bonus features such as the making of the purge and stuff and all. Here's the description, that way if you want to look at it. Also has like streaming services from uh, Ultraviolet. And it's available on on iTunes and stuff if you want to do like a digital copy and whatnot. So, on Blu-ray. Uh, let's see, there we go. It has some cool uh, video and audio features as well. A lot of people sometimes like getting the 4K version, but I'm not much of a big, highly detailed kind of person when I watch movies and stuff, but Blu-ray Blu is my favorite, is my favorite style. I mean, anything just goes for a 1080p or something like that, it's, it's good. So yeah, pretty cool. Here's the side view. Also comes with a, a another DVD copy as well, separate from separate from the Blu-ray. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, got the Blu-ray, and I'll show you the shirt as well. The I since I was been a fan of day one, I got me a the the purge shirt the purge hashtag survive a night and then what's really cool about this that way I can flip the shirt over you'll see some very cool uh, I don't th know if you could be able to see the face or whatnot but it has the the cover face on it it's pretty awesome I love the shirt. And now we're gonna move on to the the guns. Oh, just a disclaimer, these aren't real. These are airsoft. Well, kind of airsoft, but they're like CO2 kind of pistols and stuff, so they're not real, just in case. Just if you're wondering. Okay, so this is a this is a Glock 19 pretty awesome. I really like the Glock. It really fits my hand grip and stuff, so. Awesome. You're like, so that way I can show you. So like on the Purge, if it was real, just in a scenario, Glock 18s could be really cool. They're very good to accurate, or very good for accuracy and stuff and all. So, it's boom so, yeah this one is a co2 as well like I can pull this backwards but hold on let's see awesome so this is a Walter p99 one from my favorite James Bond movies the p99 I really like this one's really new to me 
well, not new, but I really like this one. This much covers the whole hand grip area. So it's very cool. So this is a an HK45. Very awesome. I really like the sightings for this. So yeah. Pretty awesome. But this one doesn't cock back, so. But either way, it's in scenarios. Very awesome. <laughs> I like it, how I can be able to like fit make it look like I'm from a video game or something like that or like Call of Duty. Pretty awesome. My favorite one is the Beretta. Well, kind of my favorite, but this is what like Leo Barnes used in the in the purge election year. This one also cocks back as well. Pretty awesome. So yeah. Awesome. So yeah, the hammer cocks down as well, including as the slide. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Very, very awesome. Oh, and this one, this also used by Leo Barnes as well. The HK USP. It's when he took down those NFFA agents on the purge. Very awesome. This one doesn't cock back as well, but, oop, but yeah. The uh, side has a uh, has a really cool magazine as well. This this is not a bullet. Just to make y'all sure it doesn't. It doesn't. There's no top of it that allows it. So yeah, it's not a real bullet. Just like y'all know, so. Pretty awesome. Awesome. So that's all of my guns. And here is the copy of the 28th Amendment that was been made from the Purge City when uh, the first season of the Purge was released. Was and also this was been shown on the the purge shop channel as well from on the the purge tv series so yeah pretty cool conventions in the united states of america having at the time they're adopting the constitution expressed as desire in order to prevent misconstruction or abuse of its powers that further declaratory and restrict restrictive clauses should be added and as extending the ground of public confidence in the government will best ensure the benefit beneficent ends of its institution resolved by the senate and house of representatives of the united states of america in congress assembled two-thirds of both houses occurring concurring my bad that the following article be ratified as the 28th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States to be valid to all intents and purposes as part of said Constitution. So yeah, this is has the, uh, the NFFA stamp logo on there as well. Pretty awesome. Golden. So here are five second sections of the, of the amendment. So section one, the annual purge shall begin each year on the designated purge night, officially starting at 7 p.m. and ending at sunrise of the following day at 7 a.m. So the specific day on section one would be March 21st through tar March 22nd. So yeah, section two, during the time of the purge ending all crime up to and including murder will be legal for 12 continuous hours police, fire and hospital aid will be unavailable until the purge concludes. Section 3. The following weapons cannot be used during the purge. Weapons of mass destruction. Fragment producing explosives higher than a hazard class HCDs 1.4 and viral contagion projectiles. Section 4. Government officials of ranking 5 and higher have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. I don't know why specifically ranking five and higher, unless it's like 
if it's like ranking 5 to 10, then that would have been higher. So yeah, on this document, it's ranking 5 or higher, but on the movies and stuff, it's ranking 10, but yeah. I guess it covers ranking 10 too as well, so. Section 5. Non-compliance with any of the aforementioned rules will result in death by hanging. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This was still in the envelope because I still don't want to get like... I needed to get that hanged too because I think I have a frame for that specific size, so. So yeah, we're going to start with the mask as well, so. I got the smiling mask as well from like the mask store and stuff and all. It'd be really cool. That way I can modify the uh, the strap because on the original mask from the movie they have the uh, little rubber bands that will connect to the sides right here and make like a little loop piece and for the other side too as well so that way it only goes loop around over the earlobes and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. But I really like the uh, I like I really like the graphic design. Kind of makes it accurate to the original mask from like Caesar's Fun's masks and stuff and all. Ooh, this one's really good. So this is supposed to be like the actual accurate design of the God Mask from the Purge Anarchy, but this one is kind of like a silver painting style. But the modeling and the graphic design is so accurate to the original film. So yeah. Black on the inside, on the outside, boom, the Purge Anarchy. I love this mask. I got, I got both of these on eBay, so pretty awesome. So yeah, this is all of my uh, Purge merchandise stuff that I've had over, except for the guns and stuff, but I, I like it for, just for style, but... So yeah, this is all of my uh, purge, my purge stuff, because since I'm a big fanatic about the purge, and I really love the films and such, so thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all guys in the next episode.